right, picture this. You get in a car accident. And this car accident, it happens at an intersection. Sadly, it was your fault. Now, it's an accident, so it's not like you did it on purpose and, and accidents happen. But at this intersection, as a result of this accident, there were a few other cars that were involved. And in this situation, there are now damages to private property like the cars, public property, potentially the, the street lights or any other businesses on the corners of the intersection. And worse, there's now damages to real people. So how do those damages get paid for? Well, if you're thinking your auto insurance, you're right. This is why it's a legal requirement to have auto insurance to even drive a car in our state. But there's still a problem. There's several vehicles involved and there's likely several people in each of these vehicles. So let's add some of this stuff up. You got several cars, some public property, and then damages to people, the medical expenses. Those could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, especially if multiple of those people need serious surgeries. Now, with auto insurance, the maximum coverage that you can get is $250,000 per person and $500,000 per incident. So just assume $500,000 for this situation, you're gonna go over that $500,000 really quick. So if your insurance company only covers $500,000, and again, this is the maximum that you can get in car insurance, you can't get more coverage than this, how do you pay for the rest? This is where an umbrella insurance policy can come into play. Now, when you think umbrella insurance, obviously we think of a rainy day and holding something over our head, maybe giving us some shade, but an umbrella insurance policy, simply put, is an extremely low cost option to help give you additional liability insurance coverage. I wanna focus on the words low cost. In that example that I gave, it seems like that there could be millions of dollars of damages that you could be responsible for in an accident, which is true. But the good news is this umbrella insurance is extremely inexpensive, especially when you compare it to things like car insurance or a homeowner's insurance policy. The cost for this insurance is an amazing deal. You think about the hundreds of thousands, the potential millions of dollars that could have to be paid out as a result of an accident you caused. Umbrella insurance, for most people, is the best insurance money can buy. Another reason why this insurance is so great is because of how vast the coverage is. Again, it's a low cost option to get excess liability coverage. And that liability coverage extends beyond a car accident. So an example, you're at a park, at a party, uh, maybe even it's a Thanksgiving turkey bowl, and you push somebody out of bounds as you're playing defense, but now that person gets injured. Well, an umbrella insurance policy can help with that type of liability. Now, not everybody qualifies for umbrella insurance. There are some prerequisites. Uh, it starts with having the maximum amount of auto insurance coverage. So you cannot have an auto insurance policy with minimum or state minimum liability coverage. You need to have the maximum insurance liability on your car insurance. And once you have that, then you can get this excess liability coverage and get an umbrella insurance policy. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, wait, Grant, I thought you said this was a low cost insurance option. If I increase my auto insurance, isn't that also going to increase the price of my auto insurance? You're right. If you do increase the limits on your auto insurance policy, it will likely increase the cost. But the good news is liability insurance coverage as a whole is a lot less expensive than you think. To put this into perspective, you can get millions of dollars in extra liability insurance coverage with a slight increase to your auto insurance and a very small payment on a brand new umbrella insurance policy. Hey, you're right, that does sound better. Thanks. All right, so here's what you do. You wanna to talk to your local independent insurance agent and in one phone call, you can take care of all this. 
Make sure that you have your auto insurance to the proper limit, the maximum $250,000, $500,000 limits, and then inquire about the cost of an umbrella insurance policy. Your independent agent that helped you with your car insurance should easily be able to help you with an umbrella insurance policy as well. Now you might be asking, how much umbrella insurance coverage do you really need? And the answer to that is in your independent agent. They're gonna help you evaluate your income, your assets, and even your risk tolerance and your budget to help you determine what's best for you. If you found this video helpful, check out the rest of our insurance videos in the insurance videos playlist on this YouTube channel. I think that's it. Sounds great. a playlist specific to insurance to ensure that you're getting the most out of your insurance. I said insure and insure 700 times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um.